Yo, 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 what's up with you people, man? It's your boy Retro Rob coming to y'all with yet another episode of Life is Chess. Um, I was out ripping and running today, people, taking care of business as usual. Um, and I had a high amount of people um, hit me up through text on social media asking that I please do a episode on this particular topic. Um, my brother was spotted wearing um, a dress, a literal dress type suit um, at the Oscars um, I really didn't want it to be honest with you man I didn't really want to do a video on this but so shall the people ask so shall I deliver you feel me um, I'll just keep it like that uh, but um, what could I say um, all the celebrities have done it um, These, this is the key to the gates of fame I'm going to repeat that if you want to become famous, if you want to reach top level, if you want to become something of any importance, quote unquote, this is what you need to do. This is the key right here. Throwing on a dress. Throwing on a woman's dress. You see what I'm saying? A black man being... Uh, what they call it, ostracized. You know, this is this is a black man who should be a strong black man, proud black man. You feel me? They're trying to turn him in, into a, a feminist. You see what I'm saying? Think about it. All of the celebrities, all of the uh, great icons that, quote unquote, icons that we know. And the reason why I say quote unquote, because you know, to me, they're they're a bunch of sellouts. You know, even some of my personal favorites, like Martin Lawrence, you notice, you know, he was Shanae and Mama Payne, and, you know, he played in Big Mama, and, you know, you had Jamie Foxx and his character, you feel me, Will Smith even threw on that dress. Um, I believe Dave Chappelle was one of the ones that got offered and he, you know, turned it down, and you see what you seen what happened to him. You feel me? Tyler Perry pretty much made in a career off of wearing a dress, you know, and um, I heard that he's supposedly uh, doing his last Medea, you know. Um, could that be because, you know, he, he doesn't want to wear that dress anymore. He want, doesn't want to represent that anymore. At the end of the day, it really don't matter at this point in time. Uh, but like I told y'all, one of the ways, but I'm going to get into this, right? Back in slavery time, right? They had this thing called uh, buck breaking. You know, buck breaking. For those of you who do know, you know, but, but for those of you who don't know, this is specifically for you. You feel me? Um, they had this, buck breaking was basically taking the strongest person um, specifically male out of the bunch and making an example out of him you know uh, instilling it in the other slaves mind that if you even like how they did Colin Kaepernick to the other NFL players if you even think about trying to challenge us on any type of level this is what will happen to you they make an example out of the strongest the biggest, you know, the most powerfulest person. They make an example. Nowadays, what they do is they make an example by clowning the people that we're supposed to be, you know, we're supposed to be looking up to. You feel me? By clowning them, making them look like fools. You want this fame? What I always tell you people, you know, it, go, it goes right back to the old retro Rob saying, you know, the, we're playing the money game. The man is playing the I own you game. And if you want to play my game, then you need to put on a dress. You feel me? So if you ever think about trying to challenge me on any type of level, we're going to go back to this day. We're going to go back to the Oscars. When you're up there wearing a dress all the way down to the floor, and a bow tie. You feel me? Look at that, man. Pathetic. Pathetic. At the end of the day, 
This man can live his life however he wants to. That's not the issue. He can live his life however he wants to. The issue is, what does this do to the younger viewers? What, did it, what does it do to the youngins that are watching? You're basically showing, oh yeah, um, like Young Thug, stuff like that. What are you doing? Young Thug basically made an uh, album cover of it. What are you showing? People like him right here in Young Thug, what are you guys showing? The younger people. You're basically showing them what the man wants you to show. And that if you want to be something in life, if you want to become something in life, this is what you need to do. You need to throw on a dress that goes past your ankles. You need to throw on a dress. You need to look as feminine as possible. The whole... Uh, the whole approach, the crafty counsel to the man's agenda is to make the African-American male as feminine, as weak as possible. To make us clown ourselves. He's like, I got the money, I got the goods, but what you going to do for it? You have to clown yourself for it. This is the game, people. It's one big game. The game is, I got the money, I got the goods, I can make your life better than what it is, better than it will ever be, but you have to clown yourself to get it. And what do these sellouts do? They go get it. They go chase the bag, they go chase the money. You feel me? They go chase the money. Instead of being honorable. Instead of having some type of integrity about yourself. Instead of having some type of morals and principles about yourself. And being a man all in all. No, I see what you're trying to do. I see what game you're trying to play. No, it's not about me. And that's why I said, a lot of you think about your damn self. A lot of you only care about your damn self. You don't care about the, that the youngins is looking up and, and trying to, you know, become famous and trying to be something. And when they look at this, they automatically think. Because kids watch what you do, not what you say. They automatically think, oh, he doing that? And look at, look at, when he's on the Oscars, he's hosting the Oscar, Oscars. Well, he might not have been hosting it. He might have been hosting it, but he's on the Oscars. He's making it. He's doing this. He's famous. You feel me? They forget all about the, the, the backstory, the message. And they look at the messenger. You feel me? The kids look at the messenger and forget all about the message. Oh, this is what I can be. All I have to do is throw on a dress that goes all the way down to the floor and act feminine. These kids going to start taking notes from their they mothers and their sisters and stuff like that. Instead of being men. This is why a lot of youngins are afraid of being themselves. Are being everybody else but their daggone selves. Because of people like this. Because of people like this. We literally, the youth today, outside of me and a few others out here. A, a very, very, very small few others out here. They hardly have no role models. They have nobody to look up to. Of any significance because the people of any significance are out here doing anything and everything to get the money. To get the bag. Meanwhile, you got the kids out here literally, and I was one of them. And I'm still one of them. You literally got the kids out here. I'm grown now. I'm 28. But you literally have kids out here practically have to self-teach this, you know, uh, self-taught. They have to come up self-taught. They have to teach themselves. Because if you don't have people like this, you have people in the hood that's acting more childish than the kids. Look, big old bow tie on. Looking like a straight up. You see what I'm saying? I don't even want to say it for real. You know? 
S A M B O. You feel me? Spell that out. S A M B O. And you know, we got on uh, Floyd about the blackface and everybody is in uproar the blackface, but it will allow this man to come on stage. And I know it's a lot of people out there that's going in on this. You see what I'm saying? Saying the same things that I'm saying right now. I was saying them before I was saying them uh, today. I said, man, I got to touch on this. I don't want to because I already know. I knew what I knew what it is. I knew what I know what it is, and I knew what it was. You feel what I'm saying? Oh, this is not. This is not going to be the first, and it ain't going to be the last of this type of thing. We're going to see more of him. We've been seeing more of him, but we're going to see even more of him pop out. You see what I'm saying? We're going to see more of him pop out. Because in order for you, this is a clear message. This is a clear message by the higher superiors. In order for you to be granted a life that you wouldn't live, a great life to advance in life and really become something, this is what you have to do to unlock the keys to this fame we have for you. You feel me? Ain't it ironic, people? Ain't it ain't it? I ain't gonna say even ain't it ironic, but ain't it funny how I ain't gonna even get all biblical and stuff like that, but in the Bible, God asks that we follow his law, statutes, and commandments. And we can't do that. But we'll do this to become famous. And at the end of the day, ultimately lose out on what God got prepared for you. I ain't going to really get too much in depth, uh, biblical, but at the end of the day, man, this is a straight up mockery, man. This is straight up preposterous. You see what I'm saying? This is just another example as to what they're trying to do to the black African-American race as a whole and the black African-American male specifically. This is another great example as to why black people can't improve. Because every time you try to improve, every time people like me, people like a lot of my subscribers out here, try to help the youth as best as we can. You see what I'm saying? Help improve the youth. You got stuff like this going on. See, you see what I'm see the man is slick. The man is the knows that the young, a lot of these young people, they come up in poverty, because guess what? Guess who put them in that poverty? The man did. So he knows in order for you to get out of the poverty that I put you in, you have to humiliate yourself. You might have to make a daggone fool out of yourself to get what I got prepared for you. People don't realize when I tell them this. The people that the people that put you in your oppression, the person that put you in your oppression, oppression, excuse me, is the same people that set these type of things up. Is one big setup. Is one big setup. That's why you have to use your morals. That's why you have to have some type of integrity, some type of principle. I'd rather be homeless. You hear me? I've been there before, people. I'd rather be homeless than be to become something if I got to do this. If I got to do this. Because that that's a double entendre. That's a catch-22. Not only is it tearing down your image and weakening you bit by bit, piece by piece as a man, but most importantly... It's what it does to the youth. What it does to the younger brothers, the younger sisters, the younger people looking up, trying to become something. This sends a very, very loud message. Very loud message that if you want to become something, if you want to be something, you're free to do whatever you want to. And you must put on the dress. You must 
act feminine. You must. I used to always wonder as I was coming up, right? Why are a lot of the uh, people that I used to watch coming up like Martin, Jamie Foxx, Will Smith, like why are these guys wearing dress? Like why every time I turn around, they're forced to act like a woman and wear a dress? Then it all started to click as I grew up, right? It all started to click, people. You feel me? I say, okay, they're trying to, you know, a uh, uh, modern day buck break. This is what you look up to is a mockery. You better bet the man that is forcing, we all know what I mean by man, the man that are forcing these brothers to wear dress, oh, he's having a time of his life. He's back in, in the backstage laughing. He's in the background laughing because those people never come out. They're cowards. They either sit in the back and, and let you make a fool of yourself or they use your own kind to go against you, to fight their battles. You feel me? Y'all know what I mean by their and them. The man. The man is having an all time. You see what I'm saying? Chuckle about this. He'll force you to go out there and, and humiliate yourself and degrade yourself. But he knows what type of messages. See, one thing about the man, the man knows what type of message this sends. This sends a clear message to the world that the black male is destroyed. And I hate that they do this, but you got to blame brothers like him for this. They always clump all, all the brothers up at once. They, they clump us all in one pack because of something this brother is doing. They clump us up all in one pack because of something Martin Lawrence doing. And I love Martin Lawrence, but we're talking about it. They clump us all in one pack because of something Tyler Perry did, because of something Cedric the Entertainer did, because of something Will Smith did, because of something Jamie Foxx did. You feel me? And it's sad, man. Just like the same way that they do with the sisters. You got everybody out here, all the females out here of different races. You see what I'm saying? Rolling their eyes, smacking their teeth, and, you know, trying to emulate the sisters, man. And they're getting rich off of this stuff. Look around. You don't pretty, you, you pretty much don't see, see all the, you know, white actors and stuff like that and... Chinese act all the other races and stuff like ethnicities and stuff like that they pretty much with the exception of a couple they pretty much get all of the hero roles they get all of the roles that we should have meanwhile we'll take the roles that make us look like less of, of a person we'll take the roles that will you know allow us to, de to degrade ourselves you see what I'm saying and to humiliate ourselves just for a daggone check. What is a check? What is a check? What is the saying? Um, what is it of a man to have the whole world but loses his soul in the process? What is it that you have the whole world? You have a nice house. You have a nice car. You have, you see what I'm saying? everything all this money in your bank account but at the end of the day deep down inside you ain't worth a damn you ain't worth a damn and to the real community to the people that really know you ain't worth a damn and to the youngins that are looking up to you and watching you and you know is trying to look at you as some type of inspiration or example you ain't worth a damn you don't do nothing but make it harder for brothers like me and other sisters out here and brothers and people out here that's trying to, you know, show people the right way, show people the real way. Disgusting. I don't even feel like going on and on about this, people. Disgusting. Despicable. And he's just proud. 
He's proud to be a woman. He's proud to, you know, to be feminine. Because guess what? All he see is dollar signs. He don't care about you. He don't care about me. He don't care about the youth. He don't care about black pride. He care about his bank account. Selfish mother, man. Life is chess, retro raw, man. Don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon to receive all new notifications when new content is dropping. Sick of this.